Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zang here, and I'm bringing you another VGC 14 live commentated battle on the online series ladder, where I climb the online ladder and provide live commentary as I go. Today, I have a special treat. I'm bringing Meowstic to my team. Meowstic, one of the more annoying Pokemon to deal with in VGC because of Thunder Wave and Swagger, also added Lump Scizor to my team, uh, and so this should be a really interesting battle. I'm going to find a 1703 rated opponent, and my opponent seems to be Tyranitar, Garchomp, Talonflame, uh, Noivern, Azumarill, and his own Meowstic. So, really interesting matchup right from the start. Uh, no immediate Mega Pokemon, but the Tyranitar most likely. It could either be, either be Tyranitar or Garchomp. I'm going to go with Tyranitar on this one. Um, but... <laughs> The Meowstic Mirror should be very, very interesting. I think Meowstic can actually help me a lot here by spreading Paralysis. Um, my own Azumarill, I think, would be great, too. Uh, Scizor, actually excellent in this matchup as well. Of course, it has to dodge the Fire-type attacks from Talonflame. Noivern most likely carrying one. Uh, and since I'm assuming Tyranitar is special, I don't think it's going to be carrying a Fire-type attack, but let's see. Um, Hydreigon, probably not the best thing to bring in this matchup, sadly, because it is slower than both of my opponent's dragons. Uh, and... Something in considering when I put this team together was before I had Rage Powder support from Amoongus, but now that I actually replaced Amoongus, I might d decide to go back into the Scarf Solomons I've been using, just because now Hydreigon is very slow. But Kangaskhan is an outstanding uh, lead here for me, just because my opponent doesn't have any actual way to... Um uh, say intimidate it from the start and I can get a free fake out and it is faster than that meow stick uh, For my second Pokemon. I am actually really considering this scissor. Um, I think Having pressure with scissor right from the start can really help me a lot Of course, I do want to go with my own meow stick too just to spread paralysis, um, but I am running out of time I'm gonna go with my own scissor I'm gonna have a zoom roll in the back to beat the dragons and I think I'm gonna go with hydreigon as my last one Yeah, let's go with hydreigon. All right I actually probably should have went with Meowstic instead, but uh, one of the annoying things about Meowstic is when you put it on your team, you kind of give up an offensive slot. For example, now you have a defensive Pokemon that's excellent, but it kind of just stays there. So you really have one Pokemon that's controlling the momentum of the battle, as opposed to saying having two attackers out at the same time, uh, which can definitely sway momentum onto your side. So my opponent is going to lead with Noivern and his... Um, Noivern and his Meowstic against my Kangaskhan and my Scizor, so this is a great matchup for me as I can get a free sword Dance with Scizor right from the start, but of course Meowstic known for carrying a uh, Charm, it's one of the moves that Meowstic does get, um, and that can severely hurt my Scizor's uh, damage output right from the start. I'm going to go for the fake out onto Noivern, and I'm debating between sword Dance and X Scizor. Um, because if my opponent does not charm me, then I will be able to get a free plus two with Scizor, but I kind of just want to get rid of this Meowstic as quickly as possible as well. I also do have the Azumarill switch in as well, so that can help, but you know what, I'm just gonna start the game off with some damage. I know I can get a super effective hit here, so even if he does charm me, I'm still gonna do good damage. Of course, Kangaskhan is going to Mega Evolve. Um, shiny Kangaskhan to boot. Uh, Noivern, I would expect going for a Protect, but I'm not risking a Fire-type attack onto my Scizor. But that looks like it is going to be a protect from Noivern, so good play by my opponent to start off the game, avoiding any damage onto that Noivern, probably even carrying a Focus Sash. Um, as Meowstic actually goes for the Safeguard, surprisingly, instead of the uh, Charm. Uh, Safeguard, probably one of the most common moves on Meowstic, great way to block out any... Um, Attacks like Spore, Dark Void. I'm gonna do a heck load of a, dam a heck load amount of damage right there. Um, it's gonna bring Meowstic down to around 10%. I'm gonna go for the return here onto Noivern and just go for a Protect onto Scizor to scout out what Noivern wants to do. But Noivern's actually gonna switch out, so that's really good to see because now I know I'm gonna get a free turn of offense. It looks like Garchomp coming in. Um, surprising to see the Garchomp actually come in, but it's actually it's a good switch. I probably predicting me to go with the attack onto it with the. Uh, with my Kangaskhan, but he's gonna actually swagger his own Garchomp. Of course, he set up Safeguard the following turn, so now he's gonna get a free plus two. It's one of the really fun things you can do with Meowstic. Kangaskhan is able to get this return off, should do a fair amount. Um, wow, look, look how much that first one did. Now let's see if it's carrying Rocky Helmet or not. It's not, so I'm gonna bring it down to basically 10%. Wow, what a fantastic turn for me there. Even though that switching was scary, uh, Kangaskhan proving its worth and doing a heck load of amount of damage. Now here I'm in a fantastic position, I think I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch onto Garchomp, and I'm going to go for a Swords Dance onto Scizor. There's no better time to set up with Scizor when your opponent doesn't have a way to hit it for super effective damage. Um, but Garchomp is going to be protecting there, uh, good play there just to block out any potential way to KO it, as Kangaskhan's Sucker Punch is going to fail. Meowstic does reveal the Thunder Wave, looks going to go onto Kangaskhan, no surprise there, and that's going to paralyze me, but that's perfectly fine because, uh, of course, uh, at this point, Kangaskhan has actually really done what I needed to, and by getting that boost with Scizor, that should actually just help me so much. Now, this following turn, um, I expect the Meowstic to actually 
Thunder Wave my Scizor, which I'm fine with. I'm going to go for the return onto the Meow Snake and the Bullet Punch just to finish the Garchomp off. Of course, Garchomp's at plus two, so I don't want anything dealing with that. But Meow Snake's actually going to switch out. Let's see what comes in. Uh, it looks like Noivern's going to swap back in. So this, this game is going pretty perfectly for me so far, especially because I should be able to pick up the free KO onto Garchomp. Um, but it actually uh, shows that it's Mega Garchomp, so looks like I was wrong in Team Preview uh, when I called Tyranitar to be the Mega Evolution. Really interesting, but of course, because I nailed it with that return um, damage, I'm going to actually just be able to take it out with Bullet Punch here. So Mega Garchomp, unfortunately, not able to do anything. Uh, and fortunately for me, I don't have to deal with it, as Kangaskhan's going to get another full-powered return off here onto that Noiver. And look how much damage it does. Uh, actually picks up the KO. Wow, I did not expect that as I take a 4-2 lead and Kangaskhan Scizor is just overwhelming my opponent right now. Scizor is doing a fantastic job. You see how much damage it did to that Noivern from the start of the game and after getting a Sword Stance, didn't even need that plus 2 boost actually to KO the, uh, the Garchomp, but hey, I'm not going to complain. So Kangaskhan Scizor, you see uh, how great of an offensive lead this can actually be as... Azumaro and Meowstic comes back in. Of course, now I'm in a good position. The game's not actually necessarily over yet, though, considering my last two Pokemon, but my priority right now is to KO this Meowstic. Once Meowstic goes down, I should be fine. I'm going to go for the return here onto Meowstic, and um, Scizor is in a pretty good position, so I'm just going to go for the Bullet Punch onto it as well. I just want to KO Meowstic. Um, let's see if Meowstic carries Fake Out. My opponent's actually going to forfeit, so uh, that was a really quick battle for you guys. I just won 4-2, but you see the power of Kangaskhan Scizor there. What an outstanding leader. Really excited to see um, to see what it could do. I'm glad uh, I brought it out. It looked, it really, Scizor did a fantastic job uh, really just clutching the game out. So that was a quick battle for you guys. Uh, as always, the series, uh, let's get 500 likes on this battle for daily uploads. I am uploading my Q&A video uh, for 10,000 subscribers er, later today. I had some problems with it earlier on, but you should expect that very soon. Uh, and yeah, show your support for the series, guys. Uh, thanks again, once again, for 10,000 subscribers earlier this week. You guys all mean a lot to me. And uh, stay awesome. All right, that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.